When you add up travel expenses, hotel stays, and food costs, a trip out of town can average nearly $1,000. Now imagine adding medical expenses on top of that, and it can be a heavy price for patients who have no choice but to receive treatments out of town. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada introduces us to an organization who gives patients the wings to soar in their biggest time of need. Oh, someone's tired. She's a loving mother and wife. I felt great. I was eating healthy. I was exercising. With a smile that could lift anyone's spirits up high above the clouds. Um, but I felt a lump underneath my armpit, uh, my underarm, and uh, you know, I just thought that was odd. And with her infectious outlook on life, you would never guess that 44-year-old Veronica Bishop has been battling breast cancer for the past four years of her life. It's been a, a rough road. Um, um, you know, mostly just wanting to be there for my family and uh, uh, on the times when I've been sick. And while patients like Veronica Bishop wait for a miracle on the ground, there are so-called angels soaring high above to help with one burden many ill patients deal with, the cost to get them through. Now being you know, diagnosed with stage four and living with metastatic breast cancer, I have to have treatments forever. So uh, that currently consists of monthly injections and also a targeted therapy chemo pill that I take every 21 days. The organization coined Angel Flight uses a network of volunteer pilots to provide medical and humanitarian flights to passengers, all free of cost to the individual needing the transportation. So, you know, if we can be that angel for them just for a couple of hours in a flight, I think it's amazing. Knowing that, that the money that you're giving, as a pilot anyway, is helping this person um, survive. On the day of travel, the passenger or patient meets the pilot at a local airport. They are then flown to a nearby airport where their treatment facility is located. A cause that volunteer pilots like the Nesco Google have contributed their time and skills to be able to provide somebody with the medical care that they may otherwise not be able to receive due to the barrier of distance. You know, I mean, it. until you're there and you see what the need is, um, we kind of don't realize what's going on around us you know, here in the valley, but there is a need for that. According to the Texas Hospital Association Health Data Program, in the past three years, 16,000 patients have been transferred or referred to another treatment facility outside of the four counties of Hidalgo, Cameron, Starr, and Willacy that make up the Rio Grande Valley. The majority needing care for general surgery, oncology, and hematology reasons, a daunting task for a region where nearly 33% of residents live in poverty, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. You know, what we do for these people goes a lot further than just transportation. You know, I think it really impacts their life. I think it impacts the stress on their life and what they've been through. Angel Flight hopes to somewhat ease the challenges that come with long car rides or crowded airports that can take a toll on someone like Veronica, who has to make the six-hour trek to Houston from McAllen to undergo her life-saving treatment. Because um, with my metastasis, uh, sometimes I have a lot of pain in my hips. And so sitting down for a long time, it's kind of tough, and we'll have to like get off and walk around. And so at the end of a cycle, I feel very fatigued. Um, my immunity is very low. And so I have to be careful that I don't get sick because it can turn into something worse. When you kind of talk to them a little bit, you get to know them a little bit, and you realize how humble the family is, uh, what the patient is going through, and how serious it is to get them uh, to where they need to go. Uh, it's an eye opener, and it, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good feeling to be able to provide and to be able to help in that, in that manner. Angel Flight averages around 2,000 flights a year and hopes to continue to be that small ray of light for those like Veronica on their darkest of days. In the sky with complete valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight.
Anyone interested in requesting a flight or becoming a volunteer pilot can visit angelflightsc.org.